Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, I'm going to say a couple of introductory words. Of, I'm going to keep the door open just in case uh, any latecomers, those stuck in traffic, those who still have had lectures till six o'clock, would be so that they would be able to come. Then I'm going to shut the door in about ten minutes' time. But uh, before we begin, I would like to start by thanking you all for coming. It's really great to have such a huge and interested audience. According to those papers in the, there on the windowsill, we are fully booked. Can everybody hear me? Just raise your hands if you can't. Okay, so we are fully booked according to those papers. We have 159 people who are interested. We have 159 seats. The 160th seat is broken there at the back. So yes, we have we are exactly fully booked. Those, uh, I'm I'm very sorry if if your friends wanted to come but were not able to, please tell them to accept my apologies because it it's been it's, it's really tough. We have 500 views of the event on the page. That's three times the number of seats, and that's why I'm going to run another workshop again. It has it has some interest expressed uh, from the business school. Um, some interest from people who are not able to come, unfortunately. So we are going to run another one, so tell your friends if, who were not able to make it today. Um, and who were not able to make it because the, the hall is really full. So, uh, welcome to this uh, night's event, How to Write a First Class Dissertation. My name is Vlad Makevic and I'd like to talk, tell you a few words about myself so that you would know why it's a good idea to listen to what I have to say. This is my website. I'm managing it at the moment. It's called The Lecture Room. The Lecture Room is basically a huge free resource for students, helping them succeed academically, professionally and personally. It's a website that has videos, podcasts, articles and Currently, a lot of content is being created for the website that students would find useful from first year to hopefully even PhD students. Um, before we begin, can I just find out, that, get, some, get some idea about the mix, who we got here? How many final years here? Please raise your hands. Wow. <laughs> Second years? Masters. A few masters. PhDs? No, no. In my last talk in BCU, we had a couple of PhD students. Even it's quite. So I'm talking a lot. I'm, I believe I'm talking a lot. A lot of relevant uh, information tonight. Uh, uh, if most people here are finally as a master, everybody has got to write a dissertation. That's what I understand. And uh, I would like to tell you about my own experience. I, I'm an Aston graduate. I finished uh, my degree with a first class. I published three academic papers when I was an undergraduate. I finished my master's, I've just finished my master's, I've come from my graduation uh, a, few, a few days ago. And uh, also, I have a lot of experience in academic writing. I taught academic writing, I taught essay and dissertation writing, report writing, thesis writing to students here at Aston University. I taught in the library for three years when I was still an undergrad. Um, but I think Besides all these achievements, the most important thing why it's a good idea to listen to what I have to say is because I know how you feel. I have been a student. I was a terrified first year. I was a cocky and confident second year. I thought I knew everything until I got my first semester grades. And then I was a less confident second year. I was a, a poorly but regularly paid placement student writing a placement report. I was a final year student who doubted every single finding of my research. I was a master student who doubted things even more. And maybe this autumn I'll become an ever doubtful PhD student. But the level of doubt grows. The amount of doubt you have in your own, in your own research, in the validity of your findings, in your own words, in your own abilities, despite the fact that you continuously show progress throughout your academic experience. Towards the final year, it really grows, because the final year is probably the most important year. 
It is, not, not probably, definitely the most important year. You have to write a dissertation which counts for so many credits and you need to know really well how to write it, how to structure it, how to make it into a first class dissertation. And this is why I'm here. I want to share it with you. I want to share my experiences to tell what I have done, what worked, again, in my own experience, what other people I know did, how it worked for them, what I learned during my time at Aston when I was teaching students essay writing skills. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the objectives of tonight. So this, this lecture, I'm going to cover quite a lot in it, but it's aimed to answer these questions. First of all, how to come up with a dissertation topic. The topic is probably the most important thing in your dissertation. How many of you know exactly what you're writing about? Know your topic well enough? Feel that you know your topic? So few. Well, I've come to the right place. <laughs> I didn't know until... I, I think I knew my exact topics at... Yeah. Towards the second term. How to write the literature review. How many of you heard of this beast before? Quite a few. How many of you heard about it and didn't know what the lecture is talking about? How to be critical. Your lecturer tells you, be critical and doesn't explain how to do it. How to structure your dissertation. There is a particular formula according to which academic assignments are written. How to research efficiently. What counts as good research? What counts as a good source? How important is the quality and the number of your sources towards your thesis? And finally, how to become a better writer? Because dissertation writing is nothing but writing. There is research, there is scientific work, there is reading, yes, true. But I think that people sort of know how to do it towards the final year, towards the master's. They kind of know how to do their research, but how to write about it how to write efficiently, how to not to do it in the last night. Because I did pull a few all-nighters when I was a student, and it was really bad. It, it, it was really bad. I, it, it, it seems like it's okay, but when you're writing through the night at 4 o'clock in the morning, your head is so empty, you want to bang it on the keyboard. So how to do it more in a more structured way, how to do it more efficiently. And uh, just one last bit. Uh, in this talk is made of two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about the technical side of academic writing. In the second part, I'm going to talk more about student employability, how every activity that you do at university can actually be put on your CV, how everything you do at university can contribute towards your employment skills. Because when you are in the final year, I think you're thinking about this as well. So what, what is a dissertation? First of all, a dissertation is a piece of independent research. There's a lot of emphasis in the UK educational system on independent learning. Nobody's been feeding you, like at school. Nobody's giving you all the information. You need to find many, out many things by yourself. Partially that's, I think partially that's why the grades of the first year don't count towards your degree. Because they give you that year of grace to discover yourself, to discover your learning style, to find out things how it works at university, because nobody explains it when you come uh, to, at in, to university in October of your first year. Uh, dissertation contributes to the body of knowledge, which means somehow it has to be scientific, it has to have meaning towards, your, um, towards the general scientific discipline in which you operate. And so I may find out about the disciplines. How many of you here are from the business school? Uh, School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Life and Health, wow, <laughs> overwhelming, LSS, where are you here, uh, Combined Honours, yeah. so for it, normally in Combined Honours you need to write two dissertations, well, I did need to do that, and it's probably even more complicated, try to juggle that, um, uh, that load of work between the two projects. And a dissertation is something new. It's always something new to your academic discipline. New methods with old theory, new data with old methods, 
or new theory with the same data set. Normally it's the, sec the first or the second uh, approach that people choose. But it doesn't have to be groundbreaking. It doesn't have to be worthy of a Nobel Prize. It's just that people tested this theory, they never tested it with this amount of data or this kind of data. It doesn't have to be unique, unique. Leave that for the postdoc. Uh, the meaning, the true meaning behind an undergraduate or even a master's dissertation is just to teach you to learn independently, to teach you to produce a good piece of writing which will be like a, almost like a litmus of your ability, litmus test of your abilities, because if you can produce a good undergraduate piece of work, you'll be able to produce a good quarterly, quarterly report in that investment bank where you go on to work afterwards, or in that research organization, in that hospital where you have to write a research report. You write it in just as good a style as you would write your dissertation, and that's sort of an indicator. That's why it's important. It's not only important for your lecturer, it's important for your working life. University is, as you have probably all know by now, uh, it's a training ground for working life. This video course is presented to you in association with thelectureroom.co.uk and firstyearcounts.com. Feel free to check out our websites. Also feel free to like our Facebook pages facebook.com slash thelectureroom1 for the lecture room and facebook.com slash first.year.counts for firstyearcounts.com This course is based on my book From Confusion to Conclusion How to Write a First Class Essay The book can be purchased from Amazon as a paperback and as a Kindle ebook. If you don't own a Kindle reader Amazon has many applications for your PC, Mac, smartphone or tablet to download for free and read this book wherever you want, on whatever device you want. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at first.year.counts at gmail.com. Also, if you liked this video, feel free to talk about it. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and if you decide to purchase my book and you like it, please write me a review on Amazon. Thank you very much, enjoy reading, enjoy writing.